Streamline your beverage program with the Backbar app. Take inventory, place orders, and educate staff on drinks all in one place. To get started, you will need to add your inventory. You can do so by adding items one at a time or importing a spreadsheet. To import a spreadsheet, you must do so through the Backbar website at www.backbar.app. We highly recommend using the import wizard to upload a spreadsheet as it is a much faster way to get started with Backbar rather than entering items manually. However, if you do not have a spreadsheet, simply go to your inventory items page and select the add button at the top of the page. Select your item type, then search for the item in our database and tap on it. Enter the product information such as the cost per unit and size and tap save to add it to your inventory. Repeat these steps for your other items. If your item is not in our database, add it as a new item, enter its information, and save it. Again, uploading your spreadsheet through our desktop version is a much faster way to get all your inventory into Backbar. You can also enter recipes for food or cocktail items here. Again, tap on the green plus button, then select recipe. Enter its information and its ingredients. To add an ingredient, it must be already in your inventory items list. To view recipes, tap the icon next to items. Once you are done adding your inventory items and recipes, you can set up your inventory locations. If you only take inventory in one area, you can skip this step. Tap settings at the bottom of the screen, then select inventory locations. Tap the green plus button, Fill out your location information, then tap Save. Now that you've set up your locations and added items, you can start taking inventory through Backbar. On the Inventory page, select Take Inventory, then Start New Session. Select where you want to take inventory. Multiple people can take inventory simultaneously from their own devices or the Backbar.app website. Taking inventory with Backbar is easy. Simply enter your accounts using the keyboard. Tap the down arrow to go to the next item. Use the search box to quickly find items by name or by drink attribute. Use the filter to change how the list is sorted and filtered. The first time you do inventory, your items will be listed alphabetically. However, after this first inventory, you can sort your items in the same order as the last time you counted inventory, so they match shelf to app. Select Finish Location when you are done counting items. Continue taking inventory for the rest of your locations. Once you are done, select Review. This will take you to the Inventory Count Review page. Go through your items and ensure that they have the correct counts. Select End Session when you are done and then choose whether or not you took a partial inventory. Partial inventory means that you counted only some items and not your full inventory. Partial inventory sessions will not show up on reports. Tap Finish to close your inventory session. Backbar makes it easy to place and track purchases within the app. To start placing orders, you must first set up your vendors. Simply go to the settings page and then tap Vendors. Select Add New Vendor, then Search. If your vendor is not listed in our database, tap the green plus button. Once you select the vendor, fill out the information on the screen. Enter in the contact name and email address of the person at the vendor company who should receive your orders. If you are not able to email orders to this particular vendor, you can skip adding contacts. You can still put orders for this vendor into Backbar for tracking and reporting purposes, but you will not be able to send them orders without a contact. When it's time to place orders, go to the Build Card page. Add to your cart using the plus button or input a quantity into the text box. Choose if you want to order by the unit or case. Use the search and filters to make it easier to find the products you need to order. For example, you can filter the list by items below par or out of stock. Once you are done, tap review cart. 
All items being ordered must have completed size information and must be assigned to a vendor. On this page, we will be able to edit any items with missing information. Make any final changes to order quantities or enter order notes. Choose which contacts will receive an email regarding your order. If you want to track your order in back bar but not send it to your vendor, uncheck all the contacts. Tap on place orders when you are done. Once you receive an order, on the ordering page, tap on order history, then tap on the order. Verify that the quantities you receive match the quantities you ordered and optionally enter costs from your invoice. If you are on the professional plan, all your cost data will be entered in for you automatically just by taking a picture of the invoice. To attach your invoice to this order, tap the camera icon in the top right corner and use your device's camera to take a photo of the invoice. Once you verify everything is correct, select Confirm Order. This automatically adds the item from your order to your inventory, calculates your product usage, and generates spend reports. Keeping your staff always updated on your drink selections is an essential part of maximizing sales. With shift notes, staff can see new drink additions, read tasting notes, and even use flashcards to test their knowledge on menu offerings. Make sure your staff is always in the know by inviting them to Back Bar. On the Settings page, tap Invite Users. Fill out their information, choose their role or permissions, then tap Invite. That's it. You're ready to make the most out of Back Bar. For more support articles and videos, visit the Back Bar Help Center at getbackbar.com support.